Hello Zeeperherd, welcome back to Forger. Today we are moving forward with just about everything. And yeah, I've, one of the big things I wanna do is just sort of you know move forward with trying to get some of these more rare items like the dino egg and the golden egg. I, I tried my best last episode and it didn't turn out so well. So hopefully this episode things will go a little bit better. I have a lot more food being earned up there and I wanna use whenever, whatever of those I possibly can. But yeah, now we're also focusing on a couple of other things. You know, we, we wanted to do industrial stuff and I was tempted to buy, that's going by very fast. That is not one second. That's weird, I don't know how much time that's actually supposed to be. But, oh, we actually still have a couple of extra seconds of bonus luck, so if I have any spots to dig up, like that, that should be pretty good. Um, I don't see any others, but we have 27 seconds. So let me just look around a little bit, because that was the luck potion from last episode. Um, but yeah, that's what I'll be trying to do. I also have some good money that like, I know I'm trying to move up north and find that obelisk. I don't think I'm very close to it still. I still need to make a couple more bombs. Definitely destroying some stuff would be good. And I'll do that momentarily. Oh, we did get the mining drill. Yeah, I remember that. So that was good to have. Definitely need to get more of that soon. Hmm. Yeah, but now everything crafting itself is, you know, popping up and like sort of getting collected by itself. I wanted to make another one of these though. Let's see what, what it would cost. Uh, I would be magical, shrine. I'm missing royal steel. So what are the possibility of being able to make royal steel? I'm not entirely sure. I also need to set some of these fishing pots somewhere else. So I'm probably gonna get rid of a couple of them just to do that. But royal steel is down this way. I can't make more than none of them because I need to make more steel, which I can make some of. So get that going on. And what other stuff might I wanna look into? Like a lot of stuff that I'm looking into, as, as you can see, has equipment that I just can't afford right now. Things like plastic and stuff and electronics. And that's where it'll be good to start building south to the demon fire biome, but I'll do that sooner or later. I would also like to make a couple more of these. And how about bombs? I can't afford bombs too much, mostly because I'm lacking iron ore, but that's being made, luckily. So we're just working our way through that. And when it comes to gold, how much gold could I make? I can make a decent chunk. I wouldn't wanna make more than, say, 20. Um, Cause I'm just trying to see what money I could end up making. And beyond that, there's not too much more going on. Okay, just trying to figure things out, I suppose. Um, because how much money am I trying to earn at the moment? The goal would be either 14,880 or whatever that says. It looks like it says 10,000. I'm gonna assume it's 10,000. That's a case, 11,000. Well, we're getting closer, we're at 8.68,000, so that's pretty good. I'll capture that. But let me go ahead and break apart some of these. I wish I could actually reach them. I mean, I sorta of, kinda of can. Just so that I can start building them in other places and without it being too much of a hassle. So I think that Having a couple in each area, so one, two, and three, that wouldn't be too bad of a deal. And then there's a diggable spot there. <laughs> I got a bunch of sand. Get that. I mean, actually, let's use the sword. Because I want to get those in each biome, because I do have the chance to find rare materials in each biome, depending on where the where it is, of course. Let me do this. There, I was really low on health there. <laughs> Did not want to die from that. Destroy some of this stuff as well. I gotta get more ores wherever I have the chance. And I'm getting some, you know, decent stuff from that. Just nothing must have, you know? Hmm. Let's move back this way. Grab some extra stuff. And then set up a couple more fishing pots around here. I'm thinking that, you know, oh, even just like in something like this might be a pretty good idea. That way it encourages me to beat some of this stuff up too. Get some pumpkins, all that kind of stuff. That's always good. There we go. So I might want to set up a couple more just in the the winter biome, and then we'll be good with that, and then I'll be good. Got it, a couple more slimes to take out, which actually is pretty important at the moment. So the chances are low of me being able to make another, another luck potion anytime soon, that would be asking a little too much, so I'm probably not gonna be doing that. Just sort of, you know, weighing out all my options for that kind of stuff can be a bit tough. Actually, that was a bad spot for that one, because I can't quite reach it. That's fine, because I can just make a bridge. There we go. That way I can you know, just run place to place, and every once in a while, I'll hopefully get some of those, and it won't be too big of a deal. Okay, get some of that just because. Might as well, right? The crystals are always important. I mean, we have a lot of crystal crystals, almost a thousand of them. But I did say in the last episode that I would go in here, so I might as well get started with that now that we don't have any obelisks running, and sort of see what's going on in here. Has this puzzle changed at all? I don't think it has. 
Yeah, okay. So if you don't know, there is a 001100 code on each of these, they have different zeros and ones combined. Um, what these are, are something called binary code. It's something used for computers. And what do you know, you got some computers right over it, and each one has a square or a set of squares. We have like one square, there's two separate, you know, not squares, but shapes here, three separate shapes here, four shapes there, and five shapes there. So each of these binary codes stand for something. I don't know, so I might have to stop and look at it real fast, just so I can solve it, and then I'll be right back. So this sort of sounds familiar. I'm not sure if it's the same solution as last time, but it should be five, three, four, two, four. So four, two, four. There we go. And you guys can check for yourself if that was the solution for you. And we got some money in these. That's gonna be really helpful. Already got ourselves a 10.4K. 10.7, inside of here, of course, we get the frozen astronomer, solve the frozen galaxy puzzle and the frozen galaxy seal. Very, very cool. And we get ourselves another spirit orb, use it to increase your stats. I'm still holding onto those for much later, just so that I can, I don't know, get the most out of them in that way. So there we go, we finally got that done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, obviously it didn't take us too much of an effort. We've solved it before and that's sort of the thing. A lot of the puzzles that we see right now, we've solved before in the betas, so not too much of a surprise for us. But I do want to look around and see what else is going on. Uh, not too much at the moment. I want to check more shops. I feel like I should make a secondary shop. To do that, I'm going to have to get the bridge figured out over this way and just make one right to the left of it. And then it's going to be our best bet. Just because it gives her a, hi a higher chance of finding, you know, what we're looking for. So let's get a market, put it here, and see how that goes. So what does this one have? Nothing too crazy right now, but hopefully later. Did I just sell something? I don't know if I did. Uh, well, let's sell these two bombs. And that has us at 11.9K. Is that enough to buy this island? You bet it is. But is it the one with the obelisk? It's not, which means the most expensive frozen biome island is the one with the obelisk. Man, oh man, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that really stinks. Um, but yeah, I still don't know, I, I, I don't think I have. Yeah, enough for this, but I can start building more because I have enough just to get started with that. That's always good. Okay, so lots of stuff going on. Looks like we did catch some stuff over this way too. I'll check that out in just a moment. I just wanna dig this up if I can. Nothing too crazy in that one, just some coal and sand and some bones. And most of the time this stuff is just gonna have fish. It's not and they're gonna be too crazy, but sometimes it might have more than that and that's what matters. Yeah, with the royal steel being made, hopefully we can make one of these soon. These uh, are a secondary one. I just need one, so as soon as that's done being made, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Because there's a couple being made right now. We got a couple caught over this way. Very good. Got the seaweed. Hmm. And I think that, yeah, we have some in the ice biome that I'll check on in just a moment. But I also want to get this stuff. At least the plants are pretty good. I mean, the trees not so much, like just because we have so many of them, we have over 5,000 trees. Here we go, got some more stuff caught over here. Nothing crazy yet, but that's to be expected. Anyway, since we bought this biome, we might as well check it out. We got this guy. Hey, fellow miner, how am I get this crystal? Okay, um, will do. <laughs> So this might take us some extra effort. I remember this though, for sure, is that he sort of got this depressed afterwards. It might take us a little bit of work to do, to be honest with you. I mean, but we're making it. As you can see, we're already almost halfway there. Using up a lot of stamina. I am hungry. All right, all right. I like how that doesn't even refill our full stamina at this point. It's pretty crazy. Come on. Would this be faster or no? I feel like it's a little bit faster, actually. That's good. And boom, mine the giant crystal. Got tons of stuff for that. No real coins though, I'm exhausted. And then he'll just talk about, well, that was fun. I think eventually I'll just talk about just being like, now what though? <laughs> Not really too much going for him, unfortunately. But hey, we got it done. And I did want to take a look at my feet. Oh, look at that, level 34, didn't even realize. That's awesome. Okay, well actually, that's gonna be really good for us. Let's go to our gear, because I know I had set up a whole plan that I totally forget now. I know I wanted to do deposits. 
I want to do manufacturing and stuff as well. Because engineering, what is engineering? All structures work 25% faster, unlocks droids, unlocks EMP grenades. Don't need that as much. Manufacturing is all structures have 20% and chance to craft double items and unlocks factories. Like at the end of the day, I know this deposit would be useful, but thinking about it now, I just need more materials being made in general. I don't know, it's hard to say. Really hard to say, because it's getting harder to level up. I know that making a man, like a, not a, a factory, would be pretty good in some ways, for sure. We got lasers, mining rods deal double damage, droids deal double damage. That could actually be really good later on. Um, so the deposits, I know, soon enough, right? <laughs> I'm already messing up all my plans. Let's take this out. Got some extra rubies in there, that's not too bad. And what about this one? Got some extra emeralds. Pretty cool, got two for one over this way. Hmm. So what do we got here? I mean, slowly but surely we're earning up more of the stuff I want. It just takes time. Especially with the mining rods, I can always guarantee that something's being built up and that's good. So, let me activate this for now. And what was I gonna do? I was gonna make a factory. Or at least see what I need to make a factory. So industrial factory. So yeah, for this we need glass, royal steel, and bricks. So we have the bricks, I just need the glass and royal steel, which should be quite doable overall. Um, I just need one more royal steel. So whenever one of those is finished, I can't make a glass out of this, okay. See, I just have to wait. That's at 250. I could just make another furnace sort of tucked back here. Might be my best bet. Got some gold over this way. Just destroying the stuff in the meantime. And I wanna check the shops again soon. So let's just make one more furnace. Oh, but the other one ended. That's fine. Um, so we want probably at least half the steel there. And then I can make 90 glass pretty easily. And then we needed more royal steel, at least a little bit more. I don't want to spend all my materi materials in one place is the thing. See, now we have the chance of getting double items though, which is a huge benefit. Always worth doing something with that. But with that, I think we can make like a fiberglass and technology and stuff, and that's a big deal. That's gonna get us sort of to our next steps in a lot of things. So definitely what I'm looking forward to. Destroying as much of this as I can for now. I mean, we're already making a decent chunk into level 34, as you can see, so maybe before we know it, we'll have more stuff going on. I mean, it doesn't affect us too much for some of our other goals, like trying to get into here, trying to find the dinosaur egg, but I'm trying my best. It just sort of seems to be a matter of chance sometimes, and sometimes chance is against me. Like maybe it could be in here, but it's not. It was amethysts, which are still pretty good. Not what I was hoping for. There we go. Okay, so yeah, well, like I said before, I did want to check out the feet. Since I really haven't yet, as you can see, it's 31 out of 84. There's a lot of them. And we get more, you know, different clothing for each one. But on the main menu as well, you also get some other things for feats that I'm sure I'll show off at some point or another. But my goal is to eventually get all these feats done. I mean, some of them are pretty simple. Some of them not so much. I feel like it'll be easier for me to feel motivated to do these once I unlock the shop or the place where we can change our clothing and stuff. Some of them are interesting for sure. But, um... One of them, win the Ice Wizard Challenge. What is that? I don't remember that one. Uh, maybe I do. I guess we'll find out at some point. And then, I mean, as you can see down here, there isn't too much more. Gotcha. Okay, so, I feel like we're pretty good along the way with that. And a lot of those seem very doable. Let me capture this guy. Ooh, got some double items over there. What can I make here? Can make more iron. So things are going in a good direction with that. I think I still have a good chunk more to go before we get what we want. But what I would like to do also is probably get back up here and set up another mining rod so it's also taking out the stuff on this side because like this has been hard at work and you can see the range of it. I don't want it to overlap too much but if I could get it down this way as well. So where's the industrial mining rod? Isn't too expensive so I could do, I think here's pretty smart. And that gives us 100 experience too so that's pretty good. And that can just work on more stuff so that more automation is happening. That's sort of just what we're focused on right now is to automate as much of the process as possible. 
and also to earn up 14,000 coins somehow so that we can get to the next thing. Because once we get that obelisk, I, I, I promise we'll make so much more experience because it'll actually be rewarding us as we go along. Oh, can I go in this this entire time? I'm a dingus. I had thought this entire time I had to make him happy before I was allowed in. Oh. <laughs> Whoops, that's my bad. Anyways, I guess we can change our costume starting now then. Never mind. Um Let's see what we want to do then. There's so many options. Um let's put this back to normal. Hold on. I think I went the wrong way around for that. There's so many options. Uh, like a knight's helmet. I definitely want to do like proper costumes. There's so many options. We unlock so much. Oh yeah, some of this stuff with like the lunatic cultist. And the Terraria Slime, I'm pretty sure are all from getting a certain amount of feats done. We got a reward for it. See, I'm not sure where the, I, I went through everything. I must have missed, you know, just having a basic, I can randomize it. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. Hmm, Yo, let's do basic. Where was the basic for the head? Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, well we can keep something like that. When it comes to the wings, oh, we got some pretty cool stuff. We have different backpacks. I like just like having a little simple night setup is pretty cool. Hmm, so many different things, I like it. Okay, we'll keep with, let's do the gesture hat. That seems fun to me. Alrighty, that's all I wanna do is just get some different costumes so we can start wearing those each episode. There we go. So now we look way cooler. I like it. And we'll do that each episode as we'll get different costumes on and stuff. That'll make it a little bit more fun. As if it wasn't already fun. Okay, so yeah, this is where it's sort of like I'm at a weird impasse on what we should do next. Probably shouldn't have used two of those. I mean, right now it's just about waiting around for the factory. Okay, the factory's good to go. So let's get that set up. Well, did we set up the factory? I can't even remember. It would have been down here if I didn't. And I did not. Okay. So let me clear out some space. Sorry chicken, sorry cow. There we go, and also get this thing. Hmm, that seems like it's plenty enough space. I'll just build it down this way. Gotta just clear that out real fast. Oh, we got a fossil, but it's not a, a dinosaur egg, unfortunately. I don't know if I've donated a fossil, but if I have, that means I can sell both of those for some good money. It's a factory, just gonna go right down here. 88 experience, really? I thought it was gonna be a bit more than that. The obliterator, what in the world is that? I've never seen that before, but we need a great, we need a hundred great skulls. How do we get more than just a couple of those? Like maybe I had seen this, never built it, I don't remember. Anyways, electronics and fiberglass, that's mostly what we're focused on here. Um, and we can make plastic, which is what I need to make the most of. Right now I can only make 20 of them, but that'll be a step in the right direction for sure. And once I can get experience figured out for getting those things, it'll get really big because they're just like higher, they're harder to make items, so we get more experience for making them. And I'll just get really crazy. Oh, there's a skeleton running around. Beat him up. And whoa, I got four of the Kapala there. See, I'm getting like multiples of stuff now, that's crazy. That's really good. Wish I could get that luck, kind of luck with some of the other stuff. I mean, I'm happy for what I got, don't, I, I don't wanna sound ungrateful. That was still really crazy. So let me go ahead and see what I can donate and what I can sell. Because selling those things will definitely make a big difference. So they'll be, yeah, okay, so I already got the fossils. So I can donate this and we're good. We can sell the rest of it. How cool is that? So let me get back over this way and also check if what's available in the stores right now. Like there's like a piece of electronic. I do not wanna spend 10,000 on it though. Would not be worth it. And then there's like these great skulls. Like maybe I should start building my collection now. Um, it wasn't too much, so I might as well. And then I can sell one, two, three, and one, two. And that already got me up to 3,000, so that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So that's why I gotta keep looking for more. More holes in the ground and everything like that. Will be a good idea. So let's get back this way. Let's see how we're doing with bombs. I can make 24 bombs, I'm gonna make 23. Let's get some more of this. And this is definitely building up a lot easier just because of the mining rods. So that's really nice. It's a great, great resource to have. So with that done, I mean, just sort of like trying to earn up enough materials so that I can end up 
selling more stuff so that I can end up buying some other things. That's sort of the circle of life right now. With that plastic being made, it definitely enables us to get a little bit farther with everything else, so that's pretty good. I don't wanna make any new weapons or anything right now, I just don't think it would be a good idea. The only other thing I'd make is another shrine, because I said I wanted to do that and I never did it, and they can be really helpful. So, one thing that might be good, and I've, ta I've done this in a previous save file, is set up a shrine in one biome, and then set up another shrine in another biome. And why I wanna do that is because sometimes the, the, what the shrine will be is a bunch of spots to dig up. So I probably wanna do that in areas where I might need rare items. So if I need a rare item in the snow biome, which so far we haven't gotten that one, so I do technically need it, I should set up my next shrine here. So the best place to do that would be over this way, just because this is like the most open one. Let me destroy all of this. Excuse me, sheep. Okie doke. And we're more than a third through this level now. It sort of sneaks up on me sometimes how fast we go and then I then it starts slowing down once I start focusing on it again. So let's go to our magical, let's make the shrine right here. And let's see what we get for this one. We can, yeah, that's what I was talking about, excavator. So that would be instantly spawn a bunch of digging spots or I can do industrious. All structures work twice as fast and gain experience from crafting items. I should probably do this one to get a lot more experience. The, I mean, obviously the big thing is that I'll have more opportunities down the line. So no matter what, it's not anything to be too stressed about because they will refresh and then I'll have another chance to do the excavator. But for right now, if I can get that extra experience, I should certainly take that opportunity. Okay, got all that. And look at this, we're just like zooming through this level now. We're level 34, all the way to level 35 almost already. This is just such a fast one. This is why I need this obelisk. Basically, it's this 24 seven for free, you know? And also, I mean, everything's crafting item, double items, so I don't know if it's also double experience. But let's make sure everything is crafting something. I can only craft one of these, because I don't have enough poop. Well, I have a lot more. I just need to find a cow then. Um, level 35, there it is, get rid of the skeleton. Come on, get him out of here. Where is a cow? Maybe I should put my energy into other, more important things. Don't wanna do that, I don't know if that's gonna be worth it. This is still making oil, so that's good. I'm out of energy, so do that. Anyways, build as much of this as I can, and of everything else, so if I can do steel, and then maybe we could do some royal stuff, like the royal clothing, I can only make three of them. It's better than nothing. Thread's always good. How much leather can I make? Good chunk of leather, there we go. So, oh, already it's over. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Man, it goes away so fast. It definitely, that definitely was nerfed then, right? I think, maybe. But anyways, we got level 35, and I already said what I was gonna use that for. It has to be for the quarries, because it's such a useful thing, or the, yeah, the quarries, with the deposit level up. It's such a useful thing to have. And then we have stuff like Calciferous, allows you to eat minerals and gems for some reason. Looting, slain enemies, drop coins. That'll be considerable soon enough as we go against more enemies. Oh, now you show up. All right, well, I'm gonna give you a couple of these. Let's see, Let's get lots and lots of poop. I'm gonna do this until we have just 40 of them. There we go. If I see a chicken anywhere, I can try to give them some more of this, but the chances are low that I'm gonna get the uh, golden egg I'm hoping for. So yeah, now I can go over this way, I can make a quarry and it'll work out really well. So that would be in farming, right? Yep, quarry right there. And I wanna put it right where I'm standing, so it's not gonna work out, hold on. There's also some spots I can dig, get some extra coins and stuff. So we're making good progress so far in today's episode, I feel. So if I put it here, basically anywhere it spawns something, I should be able to get stuff. So if you don't know, the quarry will eventually just pop out a bunch of rocks and these mining rods will get to work. Now if I wanted to, I could also get to work, but that's the whole point of the mining rods. But that's where the lasers leveled up could be good. It'll make these mining rods work twice as fast. That could be good. As you can see, some of them, these darker ones are from the fire biome. They're harder to beat up, but they give you way more. And you can see we're most, uh, wait, not most of the way, but we're a quarter of the way through level 35 already. Like that's just some amazing progress so quickly. That's why I wanna get that obelisk so badly. I need to make more money quick. I mean, another good way to make money, and I probably should be doing this, but I would actually need to get another level up for it, is to make arrows. That was something I used to do, is I used to make hundreds, thousands of arrows, and then sell them. 
And that would just be like a decent quick way to make a buck here and there. Just passively over time, why not, you know? So let's grab all that. Here's a chicken. Do I wanna try to get this chicken? I mean, I might as well. See if I can't get lucky with the golden egg. Cause I'm probably, like I said before, not gonna get a luck potion anytime soon just because it's uh, really expensive now to do that. I'm gonna do this until 10 of them because I wanna make sure that I have at least some to make more later. But I'm probably gonna go up and make a bunch more right now. Grab some of that and let's see what I've caught. Just a bunch of fish, looks like it. What about in this one down here? There's another cow, hello cow. I really need to eat. There we go. And I have actually a lot of bombs now. Whoa, that, that made a lot. Wow, wait, okay. That was all from just a double building, I guess. That's really good. Okay, well, I'm definitely selling those. That actually might be enough to get me where I need to be when I'm thinking about it. Here we go. Grab some of this stuff. And it looks like I'm good to maybe make some more. I do have a good chunk more bottles, so that's good to see. And is this one ready? This one's ready. So let's figure out the shrine. We can either do builder, structures cost half the amount of resources, or scholar, instantly gain random magical scrolls and gain double experience. This one's pretty big to get. So it's only two and a half minutes, because, but the scrolls are really big, because the scrolls are way more expensive to make now. So I will make, I could make an electronic sound. How crazy is that? We jumped ahead really fast. I need to find out what I need to make next. Like what's the most important possible thing. But if we have double experience right now, I need to make the most of it. So I'm going to spawn in a bunch of rocks and just immediately get to beating them up. If I need extra uh, energy and stuff, I do have the fish, but I do also have a couple of hearts to earn experience through as well. So I'll do that. And this does take a, you know, a quick second to actually do. Once I get the demon sword, it'll be a little bit faster because it has explosive attacks as far as I remember. But there's lots to do here, as I'm, I'm sure you can notice. So we're earning up a lot of our health, or earning away a lot of our health there. We just gotta be careful, we don't wanna die to exhaustion. But this is definitely earning us some good experience. We're at level 35, halfway through it. I know that we're at level 35. I don't know why I keep reading that part. <laughs> Silly me. Okay. I definitely gotta get used to how ridiculous Forager can be with just like constant things going on 24 seven. So I don't want the, the demon scroll. I just wanna use the minor scrolls. And I just wanna do this until our double experience is over and then maybe use another one once we get double experience or double items or something like that. But this definitely makes a huge difference when it comes up to earning iron and gold and stuff. But in some ways I am happy that these scrolls are a bit more expensive because it does make it super satisfying and exciting when we get more of them. And also it makes it so that the quarry strategy and the mining rods and stuff, it's a bit more worth it. Instead of having to just do this for an hour and it being the most efficient thing and not bother doing anything else, I, I feel more worth it to do those other strategies. So I am glad some of the things that were changed in the game for sure. There we go. And we're getting there to level 36. It's a bit more. So I have 30 seconds of extra experience. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to destroy all the rocks though in that amount of time. So I might leave it be. And I'll still destroy stuff, but maybe not those things. I definitely wanna sell these bombs. But for right now, maybe I'll go here, destroy a couple gravestones and stuff. Just like that. Can I catch what's ever in here? Just sand. <laughs> Nothing too exciting, unfortunately. Grab all of this, very good. Getting some good stuff over here. There's a cow running around over that way. Oh wait, was I? Wait, did I just eat? Oh, <laughs> whoops. I was eating a bunch of animal feed there. It doesn't even do anything when you consume it. <laughs> What's the point of that? <laughs> you just eat a bunch of animal feed and just nothing happens. That's silly. Might as well give you like at least a little hunger back, right? Okay, so our double experience is over, but we're so close to the next level. I mean, I say that, I don't know, like two thirds of the way. I think there was some more spots to dig up around here, right? I guess not. Hmm. Got some more stuff caught. I mean, I'm doubting it's gonna be an anchor, but we might as well check. Okay, so we definitely have a lot more materials now though, which I can make the most of. Okay, got it. I was trying to clear this area out. It's a little messy around here. So I have, I can make a ton, that's awesome. That's exactly what I was hoping for. 
And what can I make in here? Probably more royal steel if I wanted to, or just steel. Not a ton of steel right now, but um, I could also make more cooked fish. I've been needing to do that, so I might as well get started with it. See, so what I need to do now is sit down and take a look at like what th things I need next. Like a royal shovel probably isn't that important for me right now. A crystal axe is okay, and I can make it just right now with what I have, the royal steel and everything. So like that's pretty approachable. Might as well do it. But I need to check out those other things. Um, we have the demon sword, which this one's a little bit more involved. We need 10 electronics, 10 fiberglass, 100 demon horns. So I think it'd be better to focus on something like this, where I need a little bit more tame, 80 demon horns and five electronics. So I think electronics are the way to go when it comes to what material to focus on next. It's just about starting to do that. Four keys and some fiberglass, definitely not worth the money. But you know what is worth money? What I'm gonna sell right now, the bombs. Wow, 22,000, that's actually basically everything I needed then. Okay, so things are working out in that way. I'm going to run down this way. I'm gonna beat you up. So what do I need for electronics? I need crystal and I need royal steel. So make more royal steel. That's what I gotta do right now. Whenever there's a slot open. Uh, Cause right now there's none. <laughs> How much more? Only four more for those. Man, super duper exciting. So what I can do in the meantime is I can buy some land right there. Is that the obelisk one? Or is there still more up here that I'm forgetting? Are these ones ice biomes? I can never remember. They might be actually. I feel like they shouldn't be. Oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, I got the crystal axe. Damage is increased by 300%. All resources may now drop gems. That's at least pretty good. We're getting something going on there. I'm sort of super bummed we still haven't gotten the obelisk because the game doesn't like me very much, but I'm glad that we're making progress some way somehow. So I am tempted to make a third uh, crystal somewhere, probably in the desert biome, just so we have something like that going on. But in the meantime, like I said before, I need to make royal seal. So hopefully that's available now, as all this has been going on. Yep, there we go. I can make 14 at the moment, and that number is going to grow soon enough once more of the gold and iron gets made. That way I can turn that into seal and then turn that into royal steel. So yep, it's just sort of this whole process. I'm gonna grab all these materials. So this is where I wanted to make a bunch of land for the one biome. So I wanna get started with that in a second. But first, let's see what I caught. Anything of interest? Not a ton. So magical shrine. I probably shouldn't make too much royal steel, but I did. So what do we got here for right now? We got hoard or resources drop double items or items are collected instantly or colonists purchasing land costs half the amount of coins. Why did he do that now? Okay, well, let me try this now and see how much some more of this cost. Can I afford any of it? That's 8,160, that's 10,000. I'm gonna try to purchase that one up there because it's only a little bit more cash. I think I could sell something, right? Maybe I can make a couple more bombs. Yeah, I can make a couple more bombs. I think that's gonna be worth it because I really need those biomes if you just finish out, you know? Oh, I sold a berry, not really one I wanted to do, but it's what I did. I don't think there's anything right now besides that I have that's super worth selling. I'm just gonna get the bomb, and sell as many of those as I can, maybe make some coins. I don't wanna make too many. I'll make like 30, I think that's, that's fair. Let me sell, where are my bombs? I have one right there. That has that 8,999. So, how much was it? Do I have enough? I do. It's something. I gotta go figure out what that is. I mean, stuff is only half cost for another minute, 30 seconds, so I'm probably not gonna be able to afford anything else beyond that in that amount of time. But it's good to know I have that option. I have something here. I don't think I can melt it. So I would need the fire one to melt this. Don't have that <laughs> quite yet. At some point I will, I'm sure of it, but not now. Man, that is crazy. Okay, well, I'll clear some of this stuff out just for the fun of it. Nope, sorry sheep, I, didn't, I really don't mean to do that as often as I do. So I never checked out this other biome. I might as well poke at it for now. I mean, I guess that's where the ice wizard is, right? I just, I can't believe that my luck is this bad when it comes to it, you know? It's insane. All right, Mr. Dude, what are you up to? Are you a soldier? Challenge me and my brothers to a fight. If you win, I will give you a rare treasure. 
Uh, bring me the 10 bones when you are ready. I am exhausted. So 10 bones to fight him. Let me get my energy back up. And I'm ready to fight him, I think. So it begins. Prepare to be destroyed. Okay, we got this guy. Oh, these guys are easy. Oh, that's no problem. There we go, we win a reward. I need a key, I don't have one right now. Um, but we got some leather and stuff for that, that's at least good. Yeah, it looks like our half cost islands are now defunct. I could make one more shrine. I'm tempted to make also another one of these. I would need a bit more steel, so I don't know if it's worth the while. Okay, let's get rid of these slimes that are attacking me. That's definitely not more worth my while. I feel like I should set a mining rod up on every island eventually. They do get quite expensive though if you build a ton of them. So I probably want their efforts to be quite concentrated. Okay, I'm going down this way. It is nice to just be able to get random gems just by uh, beating stuff up. I also need to make a lot of bottles for the oil. That should be good. That means I'll probably need more glass as well and more of basically anything else. So with that done, like I said, I need to make a key. So this is the last coin right here. And I'll just make one key. And while that's doing its thing, I'll take a look to see if I can't, oh, that was a sheep. A sheep made its way all the way down here. Maybe it was a cow and it just was at a weird angle. That'd be very uncommon for a sheep to make its way down here. But this is definitely where I would set up the shrine. So let's see. I can afford it, so we might as well. That'll be our last one. We'll have one in each, why, I want, okay, there'll be one more in the fire biome. So we got excavator or industrious. We gotta do industrious every time we have to take that because it gets us so much experience. It happens so fast, like now it only lasts a singular minute. Isn't that crazy? Like that's like next to no time at all in this game at least. There we go, that was level 36 though. So let me get down this way and see what I can maybe make in that time. Probably not much of anything, but I can try, can make one technology, just one. That probably won't even be finished being made by the time <laughs> that happens. Because I, if you set it up after the, the thing, it doesn't seem like it does double time, I'm not really sure. There we go. So that's another thing I wanted to do. Go over here. What do I need for landfill? Just lots of this. Okay, I only need like, 60 should be fine. I wanted to make some of those. See how that goes. We're almost at level 37, that's insane. My gosh, keep it going. There's my technology. I can't pick it up, my inventory's full. Leave that there for a moment though. Um, see what else I, can, else I can maybe craft. Got some of that stuff. Man, that is so, so worth it. So you know what, we're gonna make another vault. I was gonna make it right next to all this, so. Economic. Oh, I need more steel. <gasps> of course I do. I mean, more steel's being made, so if I just wait around for long enough. What can I maybe get rid of then? I can sell my bombs. Okay. Oh, I got more of these skulls. I'm gonna buy those and then sell these. Excellent. That got me to 12,000 coins. So if I ever find that, you know, half cost items, or not items, islands, that'll be really good. So now I need to sit down and figure out my inventory a little bit, see what, what I can put away and what I cannot. Cause I feel like some stuff I have out here, but I can actually technically put it away, like these crystals. I don't know why they're out, if I can put them away. Stuff like that I need to start focusing on. What about over here? Doesn't look like I have too many things that are loose that can be put away. I'm probably, I'm pretty sure there's something staring me in the face, but for right now, I don't know. Go to our economics and I just need one more. It's about to be made. There it is, got it. Awesome. Well, actually now I don't have the steel in there, so I could put steel back in there. So for right here, what is something I could put in there? I could put like stuff like flowers and some like naturally occurring things. And the poop. <laughs> um, with that being said, like fish. What are some other things we could find while roaming around? Eggs, there we go. That seems like a pretty good mix to me. And then I probably have more steel, which I wanna put back in there. And don't I have more bricks out here? I guess not. It's not perfectly organized. At some point I'll have to make way more once we're way better on materials and get it super duper organized. But that's for some other later time, not now. Whoa, there was a lot of stuff behind there I didn't see. Still haven't found this guy's golden egg. I wanted to, it just didn't work out. Uh, grab some of that. 
Hmm. So lots of stuff going on everywhere. Let me spend my one skill point before we get another one in a moment anyways. So there's lots of options. I could do lasers. I could work on some of this other stuff like artistry crafted at himself for 25% more. I probably should have done that sooner with my bomb strategy. There's expert potions, which are too expensive to really work with anyways. There's veracity, gain 20% more energy when eating isn't too youth useful. If I want to do my arrow strategy, like if I want to do the arrow strategy of selling arrows, I'm going to want to, what's it called? I'm gonna to want to get the artistry. I don't think banks are too worth it unless they've been changed. Okay, let's do artistry. We'll see how that goes. And then what did we unlock for that? We unlocked supply, market sell more items, and bargain, reduces all coin costs by 15%. That's not too bad of a deal, but we don't buy too much stuff anyways. I never actually did anything with this. Let's open it up. I need a key, I made a key. Did it disappear? That happens sometimes. I don't pick things up right away. Because I thought it would automatically be collected, but I probably didn't have enough inventory space. Oh, it's still just showing out over here. We're fine. So, let's get that. Plenty of stuff everywhere. Just trying to make the most of, there's so many gravestones. Oh my gosh, let me clear this out a little bit. Yeah, I wanna get back to what we were doing, but there's just so much to clear out. Especially since we're so close to the next level, it feels really worth it. So let me roll over this way. So many butterflies we could catch too, but I'm trying to save these bottles for the oil, which I probably need to set up again soon. So it should be right up here. What do we get? We get another, oh cool, another spirit orb. Use it to increase your stats. I will one day. Okay, we're almost there, almost level 37. Come on, get that. Nice, level 37. So, I'm gonna go to the gear. And man, we've made a ton of progress in today's episode. Unlock the hunting for one reason only, and that's for bows. So we'll be able to make the most of that. It'll turn out pretty well, I can only hope. Got it, okay. So I'm gonna head back down this way and hopefully collect some of the stuff I didn't on the way here, on the way back now. I don't see too much more laying around. Oh wait, there's a couple of things. Got some more arrows there. I mean, I already have like 76 arrows. I'm gonna get a ton more here in a moment. It's gonna get crazy. Anything new at the shops? Not looking like it, except for more arrows. So what I wanna do is I think it's these. Yeah, I can make like a short bow. I don't care too much about those for now, but the arrows are a big deal to me because you can make a lot of them just with stone and wood. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sell those over and over and over again until we just have a ridiculous amount. So what I wanted to do is start working on all this. And this seems like a pretty good idea. The thing is, is I, I have to be careful that this is the island I wanna work on because there'll be no way to clear this out as far as I can tell. Yeah, so like this is a permanent decision I'm making. So I do wanna be careful. Is there any more islands that could be built to the right? There are. So I'm not, I don't wanna go too far because I don't know what'll end up happening. I don't wanna break the game or nothing. <laughs> but I do just wanna you know, make this at least a little bit more of like a squared out land. I just feel like that'd be easier to work with. This is up a lot of energy to place these down, apparently. Oh, oh, am I out? I guess I'm out. So I'll have to make some more. I thought I wanted to make 60 of them. How do I only have that many? Oh, well, still more are being made. Okay, so they take their time. I can't be at this sign, I guess. Hmm. Let me get whatever's caught here. Just some fish. Better than nothing. And we got a lot of equipable stuff right now. It's a little crazy. So some of our different shrines should be just about ready to go, I think. I mean, oh, we got some more fossils there. We got two more, good. I mean, I guess the best way to check, right, would just be to go like this and take a look around. So that one still needs 33 minutes. This one is at 10 minutes, I think, or maybe like nine at this point. And then, yeah, what about this one? 29 minutes and the cold biome one I can't even see from here. It's so weird that it does that. I can't even see what I'm doing. So for right now, how many arrows do I have? I think I have them stowed away somewhere. Where are my arrows at? 
Huh, I don't see them. They're not there. And they're not here. Oh no, wait, they're right there. Why did I put them in here? I don't think I meant to. I'm gonna put my spirit orbs in there before I accidentally sell these and get really sad. <laughs> It'd make a lot of money, but it, wouldn't, it would be a really bad short-term and long-term decision. But now that I have like 137 of these, they only sell for four each, but there we go. I just got like a thousand coin there. And I'm gonna build up a lot more of those. You might think like, won't you wanna use those for arrows? Not really, because I never found both arrows to be too helpful. I can always make more because they're so cheap. And beyond that, there is eventually an upgrade where you can use bow and arrows without even using arrows. It's just infinite arrows for free. Hopefully that upgrade is still in the game. But even if it's not, like I said, I can always just make more arrows. They're really cheap. Speaking of which, like I can just destroy everything in this area. It's gonna give me ton more wood and rocks so that I can afford more bows and arrows because that's all it costs to make them, or the arrows at least. So, let's get that. And we're doing pretty good. So I don't know if that frost biome shrine is ready just yet. It might be good to run up there and check. I don't know if it'll be ready by the end of this episode, any of them. Like there might be the the one in the grass biome might be ready by the end of today's episode. Okay, not too much there. I definitely want to sort of fill this place out a little bit. There we go. Oh, this one's ready, nice. So let me clear out this whole area just in case it's something that requires this area to be cleared out. I don't have to worry about it. Oh yeah, I don't know why I was thinking I can't do this. I have a fire pickaxe, it just doesn't look like it. I totally forgot about that. Whoopsie, silly me. So I'll open this up in a moment. Obviously I don't have a key right now, but I will. I'll make a couple more. I definitely want to sell those fossils too, so lots of stuff going on. I don't know, it's been a pretty productive episode though. I've been, I've been pretty happy with it. Hopefully you guys have been too. I know last episode wasn't the most productive, so I'm glad to change it up this time. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of this. Dig that up. And let's see what's going on. Excavator or colonist? I gotta do colonist again. I have to. And let's see what else is available. We can buy land there for 13,000 or for 10,000, let's do the cheaper or the more expensive one. Yes, finally, we got it. And I also still gotta get a key, I know. But finally, it's way out here. We can just activate this, the crafting obelisk. Gain experience from crafting items. Only one obelisk can be found or can be active at a time, I know. But it's the best obelisk because now for 10 minutes, I'm getting experience for crafting stuff. And sometimes it's not a ton, but it just adds up so much over time. It is by far one of the most important pillars to getting progress done in this game. So I'm super happy about that. And then I will uh, capture you. But it's so good. And I'm gonna constantly have that running, like 24 seven at this point. It's such a huge deal. And now whenever we make plastic or anything like that, we're gonna be in good situations. Speaking of which, I can make more plastic. One of the higher end things of plastic, fiberglass, you know, technology, that'll all be really, really big now. So I can't wait. And we still have, you know, half off. So if I want to sell anything right now, or do, yeah, we still have half off for another minute. So if there's anything I want to sell, like these two, and then maybe what other arrows I have left, and then maybe a couple bombs as well. I'm not gonna be able to make too many bombs in this short amount of time, but I'll try. I have 3.17, th so obviously I can't buy a ton. But I definitely wanted to start clearing out some other biomes. So maybe I could do this over here, this over there. I can afford so much right now, it's great. What other islands can I afford? Just for next episode to start exploring them. It looks like that's about it when it comes to what I can afford right now. Definitely have to, actually I probably should save up some of my money for the fire biomes because that is gonna be something worth doing. Okay, so I can sell one bomb right now. Might as well try it. So actually sell these three bombs. Oh, here we go. Before they double in cost again, there we go. Not too many demons gonna be spawning on that one, unfortunately. Okay, we got a couple of options then. Definitely I'll be exploring those islands in the next episode. Don't have too much more time left for today, but I do have another shrine I can use. We can either do Builder or Scholar, instantly gain random magical scrolls and gain double experience or, oh yeah, definitely this one. Get some more scrolls, very good stuff. I got double experience, so maybe I could spend the rest of today's episode rushing level 38 and that'll be an excellent way to finish off today's episode if you ask me. 
So I'm sorry chickens or anything else that might be in the way, but I gotta move it. There's those lots to do around here. There we go. So let me dig up these spots as well, just so nothing is in the way. It looks like it's about everything. I keep on eating the animal food, that's not what I wanna do. It's gross. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing all the wrong things. I only have so much time with this double experience. Uh, do this, there we go. I only got two of these, but it's well worth it. And this, I don't think this will get me all the way to level, you know, 38, but it'll definitely get me a lot closer. And that's what's most important. I mean, I could always use some of the bombs, just explode more of this stuff. I don't know if that's exactly worth it. I mean, I would get my materials back out of it with the iron and stuff, but if I can save it, I'd rather not. I missed a couple of rocks though, just charging through like this. This is where it would be good to start investing in gloves again, just because that'll make us attack faster now that we got better uh, materials to actually make those kind of things. I mean, we're still a long ways away before we start making technology and fiberglass at scale, but we're getting there. And that's the big thing, is that we're making big steps towards lots of awesome things in the future. Let's go ahead and do another one, just like that. And destroy this whole patch before this 52 minutes ends. 52 seconds, sorry. <laughs> At 52 minutes, I, I'd be uh, not so worried. Let's start destroying some of this down here. But it really is worth it to plan out your, like what you can do and when now. Before it was a little bit easier, but now it's definitely a lot more challenging. So I think we got the uh, the, res the stamina restore from our one upgrade for giving the Fairy Queen a thousand coins. So well, we got some pretty good progress here with getting to level 38. If I still have some more time, I could try to do one of the nature scrolls as well. Got a couple more to get of these out. Okay, so I'll try one of those out. Just like this. <laughs> it's just a ton of trees. I only got a couple more seconds though. So just do what I can. There we go, okay, so no more double experience, but I might as well clear this out so that we can be all finished for today's episode. I had a ton of fun and hopefully you guys did too. Just getting through all this and making so much progress. And we have so many more islands to explore because I bought a bunch of them. So yeah, we'll be doing that in the next episode, so stay tuned for it. There's like more stuff that's being made, but more importantly, the most important thing in my opinion that we did today's episode was get that obelisk. I'm so happy for that because that's gonna really make a big difference because this constant experience making its way in, even when we're not doing too much, you know? That's a big deal. Um, so with that being said, I think that's about gonna wrap it up. I definitely need to make a lot more of this stuff to really get it going. Definitely think the, the Tycoon Wallet might be our next bet, best bet, because it just needs fiberglass, so that might be something I look into. Maybe making another one of these. I could do that right now, actually. So, farming, bridge. I can't quite see what's going on here. There we go. Just so that I can actually put these down. And we'll definitely explore the fire biome a little bit once we have more of a chance to, because getting the demon horns there is the next important thing. And I'll beat this guy up. Oh, there's level 38. Thank you so much, sir. So industrial, factory, and I'll just put it here. So we have space in between them. So for this one, I could do three fiberglass. Yeah, I guess it's five of each of those, wow, that's crazy. So we'll start making that, we'll see how that goes. But for right now, I think that'll wrap it up for today's episode of Forager. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Obelisk Zebra, so now you've watched at the end, that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.